Hi and welcome back to the channel and today this is an update video of our Horace Heresy project. I'm joined today by Jamie. Um, his last video we posted out on the channel, you may have seen it, I'll post it at the end of this video so you can click on that and go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. Jamie's shown us all his Horace Heresy army that he'd put together, well we've all been sort of banging away doing this and that over the last sort of two or three months, ready for a trip to Warhammer World. Well that trip's happened, we've played a game and if you're friends with me on Facebook you would have seen that some of the photos and that that we've put a few up. little snapshots a few little snap <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to give too much away of what happened in the game on this video but we will do an update video Jamie won't we later all we'll on. say is that there were a lot of ones <laughs> <laughs> yeah our dice rolling was well that bad if there was a medal for the amount of ones that you can roll but we contested it we would have contested it <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was awful <laughs> but anyway today is a sort of a follow up video and that's showing you the army um, which we sort of talked about that we would do as our next video that we took up for the Sons of Horus uh, to fight against Jamie's Ultramarines. Now, it was a bit of a rush getting this army finished off because we had a small little break in France. We come back from France and all three of us got COVID. So as you can imagine, sort of a few days of feeling a bit rubbish. Um, so that put us back a little bit. So there were some late nights and, and early mornings rushing together, getting this army up together to take with us. So without further ado, let's get into the army and show you what we've got. So starting off, where do you want to begin? Like, wh how, why Sons of Horus? For me, the Sons, Sons of Horus, um, you can't have the Horus heresy for me without Horus himself. I mean, I, you might have heard us last time say in the last video that we've both got, Jamie's got Gilliman for your army, haven't you? Yep. And I've got um, the Horus, Horus miniature at the moment although they are bringing out another uh, Horus miniature which is meant to represent the Ascended version of that character. So you'll have the Forge World one for the normal and the yeah. Games Workshop one for the Ascended. That's it, yeah. That's, yeah. that's my plan. That's my plan that I planned to do. Sounds yeah. pretty good. But obviously he wasn't didn't taken up with you this time. No, no, no. So what I've decided to do, um, we've been doing sort of reading some of the backstories and that of the Horus area. Some of the, the sort of games in the gap, or well, the stories in the gaps of the Horus Heresy um, lore. And um, we, we stumbled across a character by the name of Tybalt Marr. Now, he is the leader of the 18th Company. And nine times out of... He's not a very nice chap. He's not a very nice chap. Yeah, he's quite <laughs> brutal in, what he, uh, in his approach to his uh, types of fighting and his types of organisation. But you normally find him, uh, the 18th Company, led by Tybalt Marr, alongside 19th Company. They work hand in hand together. Now, it was quite strange in that. I'll, I'll just pick up Tybalt Marr here a minute. Because this is one... This is a kit bashed model we've done um basically it was one of the it was, the, it um, was the sons of horus command packs that it was, was meant it. to represent the it's basically a reva commander but we gave a power sword from mark six onto him and that's the figure because the unfortunately games workshop on forge world don't produce a model thing no. quite like some of the few models it's some weird gaps in their range there is some really weird gaps in their range especially when you th see some of the character models and that that they produce you think, well, you know, they're, they're you've done that one. Yeah. Why not that one? Or well, I suppose you know, with the Horus Heresy and that, it's such so a massive. Many, yeah, it's massive amount of characters you could potentially have. We'd start off with Tybot Mar leading the 18th Company. Now, likewise with the Jamie's Army, we want to we're playing um, not Age of Darkness, um, as you may have heard of that in the last video. We are rewritten the Apocalypse 40k rules, the latest version of Apocalypse to play Horus Heresy because we feel as though the Horus Heresy is meant to be played like you represent in these big battles on the table and we wanted that sort of that epic feel that you used to get years ago playing epic so and then the apocalypse rules sort of give us that flavor so with with Taiwan Mara then we've got two demi companies here we've got one demi well, company to half the, demi companies. half demi companies yeah and then another half demi company to this side here so the main command squad for Demi Company 1. That's your chieftain squad. Is my chieftain squad. Uh, made up with Reaver. Um, Reaver attack squad. Reaver attack squad. Yeah, converted. And as you can see, that banner was from the command pack as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was it. We made him up, didn't we? we again, what's going to happen with this one is, likewise with Jamie's, we are going to put um, bases and transfers and that will all be on all the figures uh, when we finally finish off the army. But where did you get those shields from? Because obviously Games Workshop only do one faction of shields and that's Ultramarines. Yep, yeah. uh, the shields is from, whoops, here we go, from Etsy. And um, there's loads of different shields. 
What you've got to be careful of when you're ordering off of Epsi, make sure you get the right shields for your models because they do shields for obviously first the born. firstborn miniatures and also for Primara. So make sure you do look at that. It says firstborn, it's for the Diddy Marines as I call them. But they do it for all 18 legions. Yeah, all so. 18 legions you can get and you can get doors, you can get everything. Now I've took this army up to Warhammer World, I've played it. We've had their staff come over, we've had their design studio people come over and talk to us. Really loved the army, loved what we've done to it, and obviously with the shields as well. So we didn't have an issue there Which playing. we were a bit We were genius. concerned about it. Now if I'd have played it as a tournament up there, then yes, I wouldn't have been able to play up there in our tournaments using um, third party products. But they were very happy to see what I'd done. I think it's also a custom to show what you can do with their miniatures. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, and I think they fit on quite well as well, you know, with their with their miniatures. So, like I said, so we've got this command squad here, and obviously... Now, the Chieftain Squad's a new unit they've not long brought out in a document, in the, isn't it? In document, PDF document. Yes, they've drawn a new scenario pack, and we thought, just in time, as you were halfway through building the army, <laughs> we thought, oh, I've got a command squad. So, we've also added into the command squad, because we want to try and keep them alive a little bit longer, and that is an apothecary. Um, this one's a beautiful but it comes a pack of two wouldn't it yes you, you got, have one yeah there's a mark two and a mark four now all my armies in mark four so you got left with the mark two yeah but i think he fits in well with with, with this like, especially that command uh, the command squad there i think he really does fit in nicely so on the left here then we have um obviously we got the type of mark command squad and apothecary as one unit I mean, obviously, Top of Mario, you can have as an independent character or you can attach him to that command squad. And we're using apothecaries as almost like tokens to represent yeah. the rule. Yeah, that's it. So it saves extra sort of rules and yeah. it's just there as a token, as Jamie says. So we've got one tactical squad here, 10 men. Um, and obviously behind that, we've got a uh, tactical special weapons squad with rotor cannons. We've got a legion heavy support squad with heavy bolters and a normal 10-man tactical squad at the back. So as you can see there, so this one demi company, two tactical squads, two support squads in, in, in effect, and obviously it's command squad. These are going to be added to, I have got another squad to add to this to make it three tactical squads. But again, that's a later video, you'll see what this army grow when I do a full on showcase of the army. Over the right here, if I just move the camera along a little bit, excuse shaky hand on the camera a minute, there we go. So on the right here then, Likewise with the other um, Demi Company, we have one tactical squad, one heavy weapon squad with uh, rocket launchers, another support squad with plasma guns, and over the back another tactical squad. This tactical squad here is a breacher squad because obviously with all its breacher shields, and likewise with the command and squad. And I think it just shows again how different angles you can get with the shields that yeah. fit on the models. So just bring him up in there. So again, this is the normal Age of Darkness uh, Mark VI uh, Tactical Marines, and I've just glued on the uh, British Shields and that on all of them. So as I said, they are really, really cool. I love these miniatures. Uh, there's another one here to sh show you. He's got a flamer, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got the flamer going through there, so you can see the flamer. Um, really nice miniatures. The painting of these uh, this army, we follow Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. Yep. Duncan, we had him on the channel doing a one of our live chats, and he had recently, at that point, done a load of painting videos on all the legions. Yeah, one for each. Legion. One for each legion. So we basically followed his process. To, oh, spot on. Yeah, we love that. Timing. <laughs> uh, and this second demi company is led by a oops, excuse fingers, chaplain. A very similar chaplain to mine. Yeah, very similar. This one's a chaplain from the... Um, Betrayal at Calf. Betrayal at Calf box, that's it, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, and attached to that demi company, we have a land speeder. Now, you might notice the land speeder is a 40k model. I've ground off and filed off and cut off the Aquila on the front and obviously stuck Ooh. on... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've stuck on a, a Eye of Horus, which is one of the um, icons you get in the Spartan kit. And Although you can't actually use that assault cannon on the bottom of it. No, you can. That's just but on it there. it looks fun. It's just on there. Um, and what we've also done is, on the shoulder pads, I've put on the um, uh, Sons of Horus shoulder pads on the left And changed the helmets. And changed the helmets, the beaky, beaky helmets. So that just shows you that. So moving across, and we'll come down to here. This is the Terminator. So we've got the Terminator Company. 
Now this at the moment is only two squads, a leader and the Spartan, but this will increase because I'm going to put a Justerian unit in there. He's arms racing. <laughs> I am arms racing and so is Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> More purchases were bought up at Warhammer World, especially Ford World models. Well, I don't want to bring them by. <laughs> hey, Jamie, come quick, come quick. Look at what's in this horse heresy box. Going, it's a load of Mark 6s and I'm doing a Mark 4 army. I mean, in his hands is another Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is another Spartan to add into this army. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one's going to be led at the moment. I'll just pick him up out there a minute. It's by a Praetor and Cata, oops, Cataphracti. Uh, now that's um, one word exclusive you got years ago when you were yeah, the first about to start the project. I was going to do this project many years ago and I've just kept kept most of the models and I've still got a lot more to paint up. Um, and I just thought it looked really nice leading them off. Um, but I've recently bought while I was up there, which was a Terminator in Cataphract the Army. Uh, not Terminator, sorry, Librarian Terminator in Cataphract yeah. the Army. And that will sort of, I think, add into this little demi company. Again, that was the Warhammer World exclusive one, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and then obviously with the just Justerian unit in here, which will then increase that. Um, I'm going to assume you're going to replace him with a certain someone. Um, and later on, <laughs> later on, I might put another tactical uh, Terminator unit in there, a cataphract the armor, and then upgrade the leader to be uh, well uh, Ezekiel Baden or as. Uh, as it's as he's pronounced, how do they pronounce him? Abaddon. Abaddon. To me, it's Abaddon. But anyway, but never mind. Um, yeah, the sweet Ezekiel Abaddon. Going down Abaddon. Hole there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For all the Horus Heresy fans or Forty K fans out there, to me, it's Abaddon. Sorry, it's, uh, is it? <laughs> no, it's Abaddon. <laughs> <laughs> but there we are. But that, they're all at the moment going to because of the size of how many you can mount up in a uh, Spartan. All of those fits in that Spartan, and it's brilliant on the table takes up less space until they want to debus. Especially in the way we're playing the game of Apocalypse. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. So the final company we have. So on your Terminators, you've got a Lightning Claw and a Oh, Volta. yeah. Let's just move that back. So let's show you that. So again, we've got a Lightning Claw uh, squad here. And they have got the Sergeant here. Just turn him around. There's Grenade Harness on top. And that in there. And then, yeah, it's Grenade Harness you can see on the top of his... Uh, shoulders there in this pack and then on over here we got just normal sort of bolter armed terminator unit um, and they've got a flamer in this unit as well this is the sergeant again with his grenade harness on there yeah those cheesy justarians with auto cannons <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so they're, they're really really cool really impressed with the spartan and that really come up nice nice model um, and finally we have the Mechanized Company. There seems to be a relic of the past in there. There definitely is a, a relic. third of, edition a, model. A third edition Predator. That you've had in that box for how long? Do you know, yeah, I've been moving it about. I've always cause I've always wanted to build a Dark Angels army up. And I've, I've got so many models. I was going to build this Dark Angels army ever since sort of third, fourth edition. Never got round to doing it. And so I just put it to one side, put it to one side. And obviously now my Dark Angels army is a full on Primaris army. Uh, so about three, four thousand points, I suspect. About three and a half to four thousand. Yeah, it's a massive army. Um, but anyway, so that meant that the Predator was Nothing redundant. Nothing compared to my ultra No, <laughs> <laughs> but that meant to say the Predator was redundant. So we've uh, sort of commandeered it into this army, which I think looks really, really cool. So auto cannon and bolter, um, heavy bolter sponsons. Uh, Sakaran. The Sakaran is the older Forge World model, which is the resin kit. And I think it's slightly bigger than the new plastic yes, one, I, I think. In my, when looking at it in the naked eye, I think it's bigger. But I have not got a plastic one to compare it. But. No, but just looking at it in the cabinets, I was just trying to yeah. imagine that one, what we had, to, 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 to that the plastic one in the cabinets that we've seen and there. And it feels really weird if you pick up a plastic one, because for us, we're expecting it would be resin. weight, yeah, yeah, the weight of it. Man, what's going on here? <laughs> So and this one's armed with uh, Las Cannon Sponsons and the twin accelerator auto cannons. Auto cannons. And so you've got the heavy bolter. That's it, the heavy bolter. Yeah, I think you can see it. Just move that across there. Heavy bolter is just down into there. So it's a really nice model. Played really well, I thought. Yeah, really good. Did its role perfectly. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And to back that up is because again with the mechanized force, you need infantry. You need infantry to uh, support your armored vehicles. So at the moment we've got a Rhino. That's with, the new uh, new plastic Deimos new, one. Yeah, that's the new Deimos plastic one for the Horus Heresy. 
Um, and in there is a 10-man tactical squad. Uh, again, they'll move up onto a point, capture the point, be supported by their armour. Because in our minds, tanks can't capture objectives. No, in our minds, can't tanks. Tanks can push an objective, but they can't capture an objective. Which is no, you need infantry to support your armour. So that's the, that's the way we we're playing this. And they are led by. Let's just put them out a minute. A master of the signal. Now this one was kit bashed again. Um, so I, I was using the Mark Three command head and backpack by the looks of it. Yeah. And then just put an axe in his hand. I think the axe was from the... Ra the axe is from the Reaver kit. Reaver kit, that's it. Because yeah. that's the other model that your banner bearer has replaced in the Chief yes, Squad. Yes, that's him, yeah. So we kit bashed a um, Master of the Signal. Part of the rights of war that we've converted across for my army, I have to take a Master of the Signal. Likewise, I have to take a Master of Signal or, or a Damocles. A Damocles, the command vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, so I thought, well, why not put him in charge of the mechanised company and again, I've got another tactical squad to add into that, which is already, well, say, 90% finished. I just got to buy another Rhino, and that will go into there. And, that and then will... more tanks. Oh, yeah, got to have more tanks. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't have an army without more tanks. That's just like, you know. <laughs> so I'll just move the camera back, take a sort of look across the middle. So there we have it then. That is the army so far. Um, what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the army. As I said, we're not playing it Age of Darkness. We are playing our own version of um, the Warhammer Apocalypse rules, and it played really well. Yeah, very well. A couple of minor little tweaks we're going to make. But for our first proper game of it, we're doing it at Warhammer World. It took us, what, about three hours? Yep. We had about 3,000 points, if you want to correlate to Age of Darkness. Yep. So about the same normal game time as what an Age of Darkness game would be anyway. Yep, definitely, definitely. So, and we had, let's say, a lot of lot of uh, praise from the staff over there. Um, they were really impressed with what we'd done with the rules and how we'd changed it about. And some random guy wanted to have his picture yes. taken <laughs> with my army. He wanted to sit on my, th and basically <laughs> hook me out the seat and get his picture taken with my army. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but anyway. Well, I was hey. going on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit weird, but yeah, it was good fun. But it was great fun. Yeah. It was nice to see everyone out there. Nice to go and have a visit in um, the other places of Warhammer World. We had World of Games, Mantic Games. Yeah. And we had a great little tour of by Robin Hood around Nottingham. And he's real. And he's we real. We saw him. He's in colour. <laughs> so more on that in an updated video. But as I said, there you have it, guys. That's the Horus Heresy army. Sons of Horus army for my Horus Heresy. To begin with. To begin with, this is going to be expanded. I'll probably, as like I said, I've probably got Double about... Double size? I've probably got at least, at least that and more. <laughs> arms race. <laughs> it is an arms race. <laughs> but there we have it, guys. Get in the comments below. Do you like this army? What army would you be like to do next? Uh, if, you know, if you were doing the Horus Heresy, what army would you pick? We'd like to hear if you, um, your thoughts on that. See how many loyalists to traitors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and let us know if you are a loyalist of those, that legion as well. Because yeah. there's forces on either side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that would also be interesting to know. Let hear your thoughts on that. And until the next video, guys, don't forget, we've got a live hangout this coming Sunday. We've got Ian McDonald from Flags of War. I'll leave, again, I'll leave a link to the end of this video to our, all our live hangouts. Go in there, check them all out. We've had some really great guests, and we've got a lot more planned. And then we've got another trip coming up at the end of October. So we're not sure if we're going to get another video then. We probably might squeeze one in, but we don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, it's been, this, this month has been really busy for us. But anyway, until next time, guys, please stay safe. Enjoying all your projects you're doing, and happy Wargaming. Thank you.